a heap of wheat is in the form of a cone whose diameter is 10.5 so diameter 10.5 here we are dealing with a uh, with a cone and in this cone the diameter is 10.5 meters so of course you know the radius will be 10.5 by 2 meters and the height is 3 meters so height is 3 meters find volume so let's get on to finding volume volume of cone we know is 1 by 3 pi r square h so here so just put another color 1 by 3 pi r square h we put the values so we have 1 by 3 your pi 22 by 7 now your h now here I know 10.5 over 2 when you work out is you can keep it that way or you can use 5.25 so your r here this is a r 5.25 the whole square and your h is 3 so your volume equal to 1 by 3 into 22 by 7 5.25 into 5.25 into 3 now again we have to remove the decimal. If we remove this decimal, we have two decimal places here, so it becomes over 100. To remove this decimal, we have two decimal places over 100. And then our answer, volume, will be equal to 86.625 meter cube. Because it is volume, so it's meter cube. So in the next part, the question is... The heap is to be covered by a canvas and protected from the rain. Find the area of the canvas required. So if suppose this is the heap, this is your heap of the or this is the cone, and you have to cover it. So you got to find this area, right? Which is the CSA. So if you're going to cover it, it's the CSA that you need to find. And you know the CSA. Of cone CSA of cone if you remember the formula is pi R L but in this sum the R is given as see here 5.25 we have found it here see 5.25 and the height is given as 3 even here see the height is given as 3 meters however the L is not given to us and how do we find our L we use a Pythagoras theorem so in Pythagoras theorem, this is our H, this is our R, and this is the L. So we'll use Pythagoras theorem here. This is the L. So L square. So we have L square equal to R square plus H square. Now R square, your R is 5.25. So this is the whole square. Your H square is 3. And you need to work this out now. So here you calculate a 5.25 square L square and your L square will come 3.525 and your L will be under root of 36.5625. Now if you remember in the 8th class you have learned how to find the under root. I don't know if you remember. If not when regular classes begin I will explain to you to find the under root. And uh, the under root of this is 6.05. Now remember we needed to find our CSA. We need to find area of uh, area area of canvas needed to cover and that was a pi R L. So a pi 22 by 7, we saw our r is 5.25 and the l is 6.05. So here again 6.05, you do this calculation, remove your decimals, 22 by 7, 525. To remove this decimal, I will put over 100 and then we have into to remove this decimal again I have to put over 100 because there are two decimal places 
and then you work this out and your answer comes 99.825 meters square this is the area required of the canvas